I've been taking pictures when I was very young, I think. I don't remember what age. I started by painting and drawing. And for me, photography was a mean of drawing, and that's all. Immediate sketch, done with intuition, and you can't correct it. If you have to correct it, it's the next picture. But life is very fluid. Well, um, sometimes the pictures disappear, and there's nothing you can do. You can't tell the person, oh, please smile again, do that gesture again. Life is once, forever. I'm not interested in documenting. Documenting is extremely dull. And journalism, I'm a very bad reporter and a photojournalist. Capa told me, when I had an exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in 46, he said, no, he'd be very careful. You mustn't have a label of a surrealist photographer. All my training was surrealism. I still feel very close to the surrealist. But he said, if you labeled as a surrealist photographer, you won't go any further. You won't have an assignment. And you're going to be like a hothouse plant. Just forget it. Do whatever you like. But the label should be photojournalist. And Kappa was extremely sound. So I never mentioned surrealism. That's my private affair. And what I want, what I'm looking for, that's my business. And I'm not a reporter. It's accidentally. It's on the side. If I go to a place to try and have a picture which concretizes a, a situation, which in one uh, glance says everything, and which has the strong relations of shapes, which for me is essential. For me, it's a visual pleasure. You know, it's a rhythm, the way the head falls here, this goes back. There's a rhyme between different elements. There's a square here, a rectangle, another rectangle. See, it's all these problems which I'm preoccupied with. The greatest joy for me is geometry. That means a structure. Uh, you can't go shooting for shapes, for patterns and all this, but it's a sensuous pleasure, an intellectual pleasure at the same time, to have everything in the right place. It's a recognition of an order.